Good morning, peeps. It is Jess Seattle Desert Geek, and today we are going on quite possibly the geekiest thing I have ever done on this channel. It's a Molly Moons field trip. Let's go. We're gonna go see today our three biggest berry providers. So, Bow Hill Blueberries, um, Hayton Valley Farms, which you've probably all seen at farmers markets, and Viva Farms, who just have an incredible story that you'll hear today. And have your own business, your own marketing plan, your own sales plan, and know a little bit about or be learning to be willing to learn how to grow what you want to grow. So welcome to Viva Farms. Viva has been in existence since 2009. The goal of Viva and really our mission is to provide that for farmers and make the barrier to entry lower to set farmers up for success. It just totally smells of strawberries out here. It's such a wonderful smell. we got it and the ground was pretty much dead um, mm. things were kind of overgrown it people hadn't been really taken care of it for a couple of years <laughs> and so what we did is we came in and really fed the soil so every year we put um, seven semi trucks worth of uh, compost wow, on wow. all of this Cash or check only, so plan ahead, but 
I'm not complaining. So this guy is a slice of a Rice Krispie Treat from Tweets. I'm really excited about this. It's got Belgian chocolate in between. It is exactly what you'd expect. Old school, home style Rice Krispie Treat. Nice slab of chocolate in the center. Personally, wish I had a touch of salt. That's because I like salt in all my desserts and that's not surprising. Back on the road in a few minutes. Back to the Civil War, my great, <laughs> my great grandpa was from Missouri and uh, he fought on the side of the North but quickly got himself in Libby prison, it was a Confederate prison, you know, in the South. And uh, so after the war he was embittered and he and his wife Sarah, they walked out here from Missouri. They had a mule, I think she rode. And uh, they set up right over here in the little house and uh, that was in 1876 when they finally got here. So This is the Jamberry Crisp, which is actually not around much longer. It goes away in the beginning of October. Whoops! But with lemon curd on top. I actually haven't tried this before because I'm so behind. Let's, let's give it a try. Mmm! Tastes fresh off the farm. Very creamy. Bit of a chew from the oats. Nice! So that was the Molly Moons tour. Holy freaking crud! That was awesome. So I feel like I should explain something just a little bit before we go into the chocolate points. So when I signed up for this whole wonderful thing, I thought I was going on a press tour. This was not a press tour. This was Molly Moon herself, her kitchen managers, her marketing communications person, go Emily for doing all the driving, thank you again, and Leslie, who is the culinary manager. Then we had some people from Visit Seattle, a photographer, a videographer, and me. I was actually the only member of the press not associated with Visit Seattle that was on this little adventure. So that was really cool, and thank you Molly Moon's team for thinking of me. There are a couple things that really stood out for me. One was just the spirit of hospitality of the whole event. from. Bow Hill and going around the Mink House and getting samples to Fiva and learning from how all the different farmers are working on the farms to Hayton and their amazing generosity and literally letting us into their home. It was just a wonderful experience and I really hope that the other videographer got more of it because there's so much here that I couldn't cover in a YouTube video. 
and also I see some ice cream because let's be honest, this was not gonna end without ice cream. And I got to try the Jamberry Crisp, which was the seasonal flavor for September, so it might still be around in pint form, maybe. And that was just such a lovely wrap up of everything going on because it was all the berries and a little bit of odiness and just nice jammy goodness. And also, seriously, if you're at My Moons and you're getting a fruit flavor, get the lemon curd on top. It is such a good idea. So thank you, thank you for that new rec. I'm gonna use that way more often. So now I'd love to hear from you. Which farm would you wanna go to? Do you wanna go to Viva and have strawberries in the field or Bow Hill and get all the blueberries? Or would you need to go to Hayton Farms and have some blackberries? I would just do all three all over again, not just me. But it's all good. As always, I'm Jess Sales Art Geek, hoping that you get to go out and eat all things and hopefully have them on the farm. Later, peeps!